This year's gonna be better And you're gonna see I'm gonna be stronger And a braver me And I'm gonna make it Cause I said I would And do all the things you Said I never could This year This year Happy New Year! Yeah! <laughs> yeah. This is our first episode of Partners Project in 2012, and I couldn't be more excited to have Megan Tonjes here. Hello, Internet. <laughs> they are the Internet. I know, I like them. But they are humans as well. That's what they say, but I don't know. <laughs> I haven't seen it yet. This is our second interview. Our first one was at VidCon. Yeah. And that was a good time. That was the first time I actually met you. Yeah, I was walking through the hallway and I was grabbed. And I <laughs> like, we went wrangled you. I was like, get here, we need to do an interview. Pretty real, it's all or nothing. Pretty soon, it's all forgotten. And since then, we've been internet buddies. We're best friends now. We are BFFs. We spent New Year's together. Yeah, we did. It was real. And there are video <laughs> vlogs of that because there oh, were like a ton of YouTubers. Of us dancing, having a dance party. It was so much fun. <laughs> hey guys, it's Megan and I'm in LA. How would you describe your channel and your music? The way I describe my music is just acoustic folk pop. Like I think it's catchy, but it's sad. Simply the best, better than all the rest. A lot of it is me just talking about my life and connecting with people and going on adventures and wanting to share that. So it's pretty much an open book. I feel like it's almost more of a like a diary or a scrapbook mm -hmm. as opposed to anything else. Because I'm just, the past six years, here you go. Here you can follow my timeline, so. I think it's always cool when I get to kind of involve you guys in fun stuff. Isn't that wild? Because back in the day, music just wasn't like that. Artists didn't have that opportunity. Oh no, that's insane. It's absolutely insane. But it feels very intimate that people are a part of everything. And not only just YouTube, I mean, they're following Twitter, they're following Facebook, so. I meet people and they're like, how's your back doing? How's your brother doing? Like they know things about my life that I'm like, oh hey, yeah, you follow me on Facebook. We're going on tour. We're going on tour. So how long have you been performing? When did this all begin? As far as guitar and writing music, I did that at 19. I went out and bought a guitar and just started writing. And so it's only been six, seven years. Very now. emo. Yeah. Very emo. You'll be right. There was a boy involved. <laughs> cried a lot, but I got songs out of it. It's a mix of, you know, I, obviously a lot of popular music. I mean, yeah. but I, I look at things and say, you know, what can I do differently? Like, what can I take and make my own? And if I can take a Miley Cyrus song or Britney Spears song and make it sad and acoustic, then I will, I will try to do that. My baby, let me now. Is YouTube for you a full-time career at this point? For me, it's this summer I did YouTube Next Up and that kind of allowed me the opportunity to move out of Michigan. Mm -hmm. And now music and YouTube are kind of paying my rent and getting me to LA to hang out with friends. So definitely affording me opportunities to kind of just live life and write music and, and travel, which is really all I want. That's yeah. what I've always said is, I don't want to be big on YouTube necessarily. I think there are people that want to be like top 100 huge YouTube famous. Yeah. For me, it's more about, I want to play shows with people that I really look up to, and I want to write good music and travel, and if I can pay my rent while doing that, totally. that's perfect. Beautiful How have everyone. things changed for you since being on YouTube since 2006? Everything has changed. I yeah. mean, the sheer fact of traveling and touring and playing live shows and, and moving out of Michigan, that's a huge thing. And I think also just the audience has kind of changed. I, I consider myself really lucky that it's grown into people that are really supportive of me. Like I feel like I have the best audience, the best yeah. subscribers. They're so they're fighting my battles for me in the comments. I get there, I'm like, someone probably said something mean because I see a lot of at replies to one person, and they're 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 very protective. So was well, there a recipe to that success and engagement and building that community? As, as cliche as it sounds, like I just came in and I never lied about who I was. Yeah. I just I put everything out there. I've been I've cried in videos. I've been angry in videos. So people do know me a lot. So. I think that they just, they connect with me on a level where they know that I'm not gonna lie to them and I'm just putting it out there and they feel like we're friends, which we are, and we can touch the whole time. I'm like a brand new bitch. Oh. What are some of your inspirations on YouTube, off YouTube? The Vlog Brothers, the, oh, huge inspiration. Yeah. 
they, I started um, a collab channel called Project Life Science because I watched the Vlogbrothers. I was like, I get it, like everyone feels a part of something now because we're dorky and we're weird, but there's not like a channel for plus size, like body conscious. So when did you start that? Um, I started that 2008. So let's talk about that channel. Yeah, Project Life Size. 2008, I started, because I, I used to get a lot of hate on YouTube. Well, I still get a lot of hate, but I got a ton. We all do. Exactly. And I was, you know, 19, 20 years old, and people would tell me, like, to kill myself, your parents can't love you with the way you look, like, just horrible things. And it wasn't that it upset me. Like, I don't block people if they say mean things to me. Yeah. It's when I would get messages from younger girls saying, I want to make videos, I want to do music, but I see the comments that you get, and I could not deal with that. Mm -hmm. So I started Project Life Size, which was reaching out to find other women that maybe don't fit a standard, but feel like we're not less beautiful or less successful yeah. or less funny, because I'm not a certain size. So that's been going on for, this is a fourth year coming up, and it's just every Monday I post a video. I have four other girls, and we talk about body image and, you know, just living in a world where you might not fit a mold, but it's okay. That's awesome. <laughs> Project Life Size has been a huge like labor of love. Yeah. And then my own channel obviously has been, as far as creatively and music, it's been huge. So let me explain what's going on. There is a Twitter trending topic right now that is like fat people nightmares. Megan, you're awesome. Hugs. You're awesome. Oh, let's hugs. And <laughs> hugs to all of you. Thanks for you know supporting what we love doing and making it happen. And stay yeah. tuned for another great episode of Partners Project. Next week, we'll see you soon. Bye. Bye.